This is a picture of a bass fretboard, and the biggest or fourth string is on the bottom, and a little or first string is on the top. That's what you see at the it says fretboard view at the bottom. Um, on the music, talking about standard tuning, meaning A is 440, I've not dropped tuned this. Underneath that, a quarter note each will 60 beats. So this plays excruciatingly slow, and I can send you this file. The object, you know, the purpose of doing this. Everybody that plays bass uses these two sets of fingerings and variations, meaning that if this is major, you can do them as minor, you can do them as a dominant, but these fingerings are the lifeblood of being able to play bass. The very first one shows a G note, that's a bass clef, and it's a third fret fourth string, to a B note, second fret third string. To the G note, I mean the D note, excuse me, on the open second string. The next three notes are the same, G, B, D, and it's a third fret fourth string again, second fret third string, but now the D note is the fifth fret third string. The next three notes are G, B, D again, and it's a third fret fourth string, but now the seventh fret fourth string to the fifth fret third string. Below that are the exact same shapes, but now we're in the key of C, C, E, G. Shows third fret third string, second fret second string, and open first string. Below that, same three notes, third fret, uh, third string C, second fret, uh, second string E, and then the fifth fret, second string G. Then the same three notes, third fret, third string C, seventh fret, third string uh, E, and fifth fret, second string G. Here's what they sound like. Fretboard, you can see the gold notes showing up now. The C, okay, it holds a four beat phrase. C, E, G, position shift, another position shift. And that entails the first part of what we're doing. 